I have uh, I have about seven questions about gender in the workplace. So, um, uh, could you help me to answer some of them? Sure, I'm more happy. To, <coughs> I'm more than happy to do so. So, I work at the international English centers. Um, our staff, like our, our staff team, is very diverse. So it consists of three male and eight females. Wow. Um, so our mission is more or less, um, you know, preparing students with the English mm -hmm. so that they are ready for um, university coursework, or like for some of the students, um, their professional, their professional life. So, as an international advisor, my typical days basically includes answering different kind of questions from students regarding their immigration status. Mm -hmm. I also help them with, um, you know, I also help them with their um, college experience, trying to integrate them into um, college life in the U.S. Mm -hmm. As you mentioned before, there are eight females work with you. So what? What will they do at the typical day? So, um, we like our work is very gender neutral. So, um, our female staff, you know, work mm. with the students, like you know, just just like a, a male staff with. Mm -hmm. um, so, in terms of our work nature, um, it does not really, um, it it doesn't really affect by our gender, you know, a lot. So. I would say, in our workplace, you know, gender is not really an issue when uh, performing our responsibility. I would say. So I would say, from responsibility perspective, um, my coworkers include a marketing coordinators and accounting uh, managers, and some special programs managers. Um, the leadership teams include. Um, a directors and two assistant directors. One of them deals with student issues and the other one deals with faculties. Okay. The possibility of our work does not really affect my gender a lot. So um, I would say I talk to female, uh, female students the same as talking to male students and so does the other staff. So in terms of interactions mm -hmm. uh, between uh, between staff member or mm -hmm. interactions uh, between staff members and students, we don't usually take uh, take gender into considerations. Mm -hmm. So you mean in your office, the both the male and female workers will help the students? Right. Yeah. The same. I uh, no. The the same. The the same that you know any any staff would do. So. Uh, now, when it comes to like you know some gender sensitive topics, then we might include you know uh, a staff members mm -hmm. from the same sex to have you know to have the you know staff member you know, present in the in the meeting so that the students would be a little bit more comforting expressing himself or herself. You know, but those situations rarely happens. Okay. But um, but but that's that's our, I would say that's our protocol. Mm -hmm. I would say essentially they might, but um, we are trying to, um, I would say we are, we are on a, okay, so I, I, I'll describe this way because this is, uh, this is a complicated question. So um, I'm sure like inherently there are some difference, but we are trying to uh, approach, you know, a gender neutral environment in the workplace i'll mm -hmm. just put it that way yes, and I we agree. are yeah and we are at a very good positions mm -hmm. yeah so yeah. i think both the male and female have have their advantages and disadvantages right. from mm -hmm. their nature yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay that's all of my questions thank you right. thank you mm -hmm.